So this is based on a Japanese style of workbench. The style is quite low and they like to try and keep the stuff kind of contained. I've seen a lot of people build them on YouTube and I kind of follow the YouTube makers. So I followed along from what they had got and kind of put in my own touches. It's more made out of offcuts of like kitchen workbenches, worktops and things. I had to prepare the board so it's all been plain thickness machine cut down using the table saw. I tried to make sure a majority of the work that I was doing was by hand because I quite enjoy doing things by hand. So rather than using the mechanical router I decided to use the router plane. It might be a slower process but I'm actually more in touch with the work that I'm doing. Once I'd finished the top I had a sudden mad idea to then try and put it through the laser cutter. Trying to get it re-centred and re-squared on the laser took a bit of work, but I finally managed to put a full laser engraved onto the top workbench to add rulers to the side. There's a really satisfying moment when you're finishing a project. So this didn't look anything like this to start with because it was all raw timber. The moment you put the first coat of oil on, you really start to see what the project really looks like. This isn't a uni-module project, this is something I've done just for myself. So it's kind of been squeezed in here and there, the hours I've got. But it's quite good that the facilities are open, that I can run in and I can do other little projects on the side. I know I spend as much of my time as I can in the workshops. By doing that and like by using the hand tools, I feel like I'm getting a better understanding of the processes that I'm using. So when I come to do something like my final major project, I'll be in a much better position having practiced and played. I'd love to set up my own little workshop in the future and be making sort of like one-off pieces. Um, it's great whenever you're working with a project to start thinking about what kind of time you're using, what kind of materials. I wouldn't like to put a price on how much time I've spent on this. It's probably a ridiculous amount of money that it would cost to sell it now to make a profit on it. But sometimes you make some projects out of the love of doing it more than out of making a profit.